This shouldn't be moving that much. Hmm. What's, what's happening here? Whoa! It's like we're on a magical ride. Whoops. Hmm. It suddenly got too heavy for where it was sitting. Come on, man. What happened? This monitor. Hang on. Hang on. Still wait for me here. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I see. That doesn't look right either. Uh-oh, I just got a page. That's better. <sighs> oh, good. Justified has been renewed for its fourth season. Hmm. Let's see. Let's play the guessing game. Who started that thread? I will guess Cubs fan. Cubs fan is the only person that cares about Justified. Oh, no. It was Staggerly. Because he didn't use the correct thread icon. Dun dun dun. Justified. Well, what was happening was I was typing, and while I was typing, the camera started bobbing and weaving. Now it's not doing it at all because it's rock solid. Justified. Staggerly started the very first Justified thread, and then Cub started all the other ones. So it was right of me to guess. I was still wrong. And now that that's out of the way, here's to you. Mm. What do you suppose the freezing temperature of Diet Dr. Pepper is? Because I suspect it's very cold in the office vending machine. I, I often wonder if it's below 32. Of course, I don't have a thermometer on me, so I can't spot check it. I don't think there's anything in here that would lower the freezing point, though. Artificial sweeteners? Caramel color, phosphoric acid to eat your teeth away, sodium benzoate, caffeine. Sweet caffeine. But I digress. It's Tuesday, and as you promised, and as you've been waiting for four or five days, it is 56. I can't believe it myself. It's 56 degrees. Why am I inside? Don't worry, with the wind chill, it's, it feels like 54. But I am, and we can, uh, whoop, there they are. Those are my knees, my shorts. This looks like a, a dingier white than my new shirt, doesn't it? I guess it depends how the light hits it. But anyway, my gorgeous body. Mmm, ah. Oh. Yeah, so true to form, it did uh, warm up. There's a lot of snow out there, though, so it just feels kind of moist with all the melting snow. And it'll probably be foggy tonight. Never touch the camera, because you'll spend the rest of the, your life readjusting it. So, they thought it was going to hit 60 today. I believe in St. Paul it may have hit 60, or it got awfully close. Melt off enough snow. Talking about 70s next week. We're going to skip spring. Gonna go from winter to summer like that. Should be good. See what damage I've done to my lawn. Pardon me. Yeah. I got up super early, which is why I'm doing this now super early. Current time is 4:34, 56 degrees. Stay tuned for the Taco Bell bong of the hour. I had anxiousness, which is why I woke up early, and rather than going back to sleep, as I usually do, I stayed up, and then by that time, it was, well, I might as well go to work, so I got to work. It was before 8. That hardly ever happens, so it was sometime in the 7 hour, late 7 hour, and the reason I had anxiousness was because it was a visit from the plumber day. Doing laundry on Sunday... We have a typical Midwestern setup where you have your laundry in the basement and the 
washer empties out into a sink, which is connected to another sink, which is connected to some pipe that goes out of your house. And it wasn't draining. It was filling up the one sink, and then it was filling up the other sink. And just making you feel kind of uneasy about the whole setup. And I'm kind of a handy guy. I can unclog a toilet, but you, when that, when your clog is there, you can't get to it. You got to call a professional. So, as much as plumbers cost, and really their hourly rates, they, they make great money. It's a pity I'm not a plumber, because I got no problem walking around people's muck when you make whatever hundreds of dollars an hour they make. But it's worth it because I can't do it. And it needs to get done, and that sink's got to drain, baby. And not, you know, oh, it eventually drains in several hours, during which time God knows which sewage might have mixed in with him and Girardi is infesting your. Anyway, that was probably too much information. But no problem. I have a lovely wife who will stay at home and meet with the plumber so I don't have to. All I got to do is pay for it. And. It was done in about 45 minutes, which kind of makes you feel good. It's like, you know, okay, that's a clog. You know, they had to work for their money. That's kind of a relief. On the other hand, it's like, well, what the heck did we do to clog up the pipes like that? Were we eating too many beans? Did the lint trap stop catching lint? With lint, you worry more that it's going to actually end up in the, the hot air tube and catch on fire, not that... It's going to escape through the washer pipe and clog up your sink. Well, there's so many things you have to worry about that come with home ownership. Ownership. Bank owns it. Which gets me back to mortgages. It's mortgage week here at CRZ Tube. I'm kind of stalling, aren't I? I don't think I have any comments to get to except for uh, the great Kevin Donahue. Uh, who some name I'm probably mispronouncing as I mispronounce everyone's name I read online. Hi, Dave Hogue. Kevin said, it's now 4.38. Thank you, Taco Bell. Oh, nuts. My phone's not going to tell me. Donnie here with a G. The G is uh, silent, I hope. You'll tell me, Kevin, right? Hey, Chris, great video as always. Hey, Kevin, thank you for continuing to have low standards. I cherish your plus ones. I really do. I think it's helping my cloud score, so. Everybody gets something out of it. Um, I didn't say hi to Phil, and I meant to. So hi, Phil. That's from a couple days old. Yeah, I don't have any comments, so. Just as well, I'm out of time. Boy, I wish you'd seen that game yesterday, fans. The Timberwolves tried so hard to blow that game against the Clippers because they were wearing their Muskies uniforms. But actually, the two wins that they have in their Muskies uniforms have both been against the Clippers. So facing the Clippers has outweighed wearing the Muskies uniforms. 3-0 and against the Clippers now. I think you have to take this team seriously. Or at least start calling Blake Griffin overrated. What a thug he is. What an unpleasant, unpolite, impolite, ugly. Yeah, I said it. He's ugly. What a mug on that guy. Just unconscionable actions. Luke should have popped him one. Anyway, I hope you saw that game. If you didn't, well, the Friday game against the Lakers, which is going to be a whiteout, by the way, because we're wearing our Muskies uniforms. I don't know. It's going to be on NBA TV. Or is it ESPN2? It's going to be on one of those national stations, and you really should take time to see it, because the Timberwolves are going places, man. One and a half games out of the number eight slot. All right. I'll talk more tomorrow. I'm sure I'll talk about how happy Super Tuesday was. I hope your Tuesday is super. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.